The Monster by Aaron Bradley. Bladley. Bladley. Well, <laughs> I got this from the book fair, so I got a copy for us and I got a copy for Ella and Mila. Pig was a pup, and I'm sorry to say on Halloween night, he'd get carried away. He's a ghost. Hungrily drooling, he'd lurch through the streets, a monstrous rampage for treats, 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 treats. Who is that dog? Treats, he would bellow. It's Frankenstein's pup. He'd grab a whole basket and scoop it all up. Treats, he would drool, a zombified bumpkin. And if you resisted, he'd upturn your pumpkin. I'm seeing a lot of self-control friends. Nice job. Yes, if you are stingy, well, pig would be miffed. And then he'd be vengeful, and vengeful was swift. He'd egg your front door, oh. an egg-hurling dragon, then set about fixing your little red wagon. Bella? You can't buy the egg window. If, if pig, you ask people, can I egg you in there, they'll say, no, I just can't do it. Would not be a good choice. If Pig felt shortchanged and his hopes had been dented, filled him with feelings that had to be vented, terrible tricks would be briskly invented. Shenanigans like no, this could that. not be prevented. He ruined the evenings of those he tormented. The scale of his payback was unprecedented. He got satisfaction, he never relented. Your treats will be mine, he cried, wholly demented. Mackenzie? What is Halloween? October 31st. It is uh, Thursday this year. Yeah. Wild in his yeah. trumpet, the mummy unhinged, he laid out his plunder and frantically binged. Wait. Tearing through candy, a gluttonous goblin, he just didn't think about what he was goblin. Cameron? Um, in the page before that, he was dressing up as Jason. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. That, that dog is, you know, there's no series called Bella the Unicorn, and that dog is dressed up as Bella the Unicorn. That's Beautiful text-to-text like, -text connection. I love that, Alina. A little bit. Nice job. I like how you were thinking about Ew. another book you've read. Dogs can't eat chocolate, cried mm -hmm. someone quite clever. Dogs choke on chocolate. He's no fool. That, Trevor. Pig sputtered foully. <gasps> Wiener, don't nag, then breathed in that chocolate and started to gag. <clears throat> Quick thinking, Trevor. That wonderful uh -huh. hound, he snatched up Pig's ankles and swung him around with a whoosh and a whirl. He windmills that lug, a fast spinning dosh and a chocolate filled hug. Uh -huh. And soon enough, all that sugary gloop was loosened up nicely, a warm chocolate soup. Watch out, cried Trev, but the crowd was dumbstruck as pellets of Halloween goo came a unstuck. Cameron? That's a beetle juice in the pocket. Is it? Beetle These days beetle it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's Halloween harvest, a modest buffet. <laughs> He respects people's homes and he shares out his booty. His generous spirit, a real thing of beauty. He really is nicer, much kinder too. An old dog learned new tricks. Well, who'd have thought? All right, everybody turn around and say, hi, Ella, hi, Mila. Hi, hi Ella, hi, Mila. Hi. Bye. Bye.